we are going to take a look at South Gloucestershire Council's core strategy. As it applies to Thornbury. Looking especially at option 6. These are the six option areas that the Council has considered for new housing development. Three on the east along Morton Way, two in the west but close to the town centre, and one on the northwest edge. In its report appraising the six options, the Council uses a confusing array of positive and negative symbols. For clarity, I have valued every tick and positive sign as plus one. Every naught and question mark is valued as zero and every cross and negative sign is valued as minus one. There's a lot of bias in favour of option six as the preferred location for new housing development. Objective 1 is about health issues. Here are the aims which make up that objective. Usually option 6 gets the highest score. Looking at aim 1.2, the inconsistencies in the appraisal report start to be noticed. Here option 2 gets a 0 as residents cannot walk but could cycle to the health centre hospital area. Yet option 3 gets a higher plus 1 score but for the same reason. In the planners minds patients can walk to hospital. And the fact that most patients have to go to Bristol is overlooked. The report refers to Thornbury Health Centre but leaves out the surgery in St Mary Street. For promoting healthy exercise, option 6 is an inviting green and pleasant area now. But it won't be if the development starts. Historical buildings like Thornbury Castle won't encourage outdoor activity. It is an expensive, exclusive, luxury hotel. The medieval fish ponds are a quiet, secluded place of natural beauty. but their potential attraction to young children poses a threat both to the site as well as to the children themselves. Monday playing fields are an important luck resource for sport and recreation. Not mentioning them is a serious omission.
Objective 2 is about communities. Look out for even more Option 6 bias. This section also has inconsistencies. Thus, Option 3 scores plus 1 because of its relative distance from Castle School. But Option 4, which is nearer to the school, actually gets a lesser score. AIM 2.2 focuses on school location, especially Castle School, in order to give Option 6 a high rating. And so that an area like Option 2, with good access to schools, can get a lesser value. Having a school right next door doesn't fit with healthy living and exercise unless you want obese kids. However, there is plenty of learning, training, skills and knowledge which is not school based. For the planners, vibrant communities are based on shops and they fear that residents of options 1, 2 and 3 might drive to the mall to go shopping. Yet they can't see that the residents of options 4, 5 and 6 might also drive to the mall because Thornbury Town Centre holds little attraction for shoppers. Option 6 is singled out as likely to be a strong, vibrant community merely because it has the secondary school nearby. What's more, the planners unrealistically and inconsistently think that residents of option 6 will walk and cycle whilst residents of options 1, 2 and 3 will drive. There are much more appropriate measures of a community's vibrancy than shops. With AIM 2.5 there is the bizarre confusion of historical buildings with cultural activities. This confusion is reported as fact for options 1, 2 and 3 along Morton Way. As it is also for options 4 and 5 on the west side of town. The sole purpose of this confusion seems to be to give option 6 the highest score.
The council needs to learn the meaning of cultural activities. With the first two objectives reviewed, I calculate that option 6 has been overstated by 5 points.